In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the Picture Tube tool to paint with a collection of objects. For example, you can add a stream of hearts and kisses to a picture of a couple or frame a picture with flowers. You can use one of the picture tubes included with PaintShop Pro or create your own. This tool is great for any of your graphic design projects or if you want to create your own scrapbook style photos or picture frames. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to use the Picture Tube tool with the preset collection of picture tubes included in PaintShop Pro. Open up the image you want to use the Picture Tube tool on. Then click on the Picture Tube tool icon on the Tools toolbar or press I on your keyboard. To view the preset collection of picture tubes, click on the category icon on the tool options palette and you can view all the different picture tubes included. There are several picture tubes that you can use to create a continuous image like a fence, rope, chain, or grass blades. To paint with your chosen picture tube, simply click and drag on your image to create a continuous image. Now I want to show you how to customize these preset picture tubes. I have an image of a couple dancing, so I'm going to click on the Disco Balls picture tube. Before starting to paint with the picture tube, I highly recommend that you enable the Create as New Raster Layer option. This allows you to save the picture tube graphics onto new layers, which gives you so much more flexibility and creative options. You can move, resize, adjust transparency, use layer blend modes, add effects like a drop shadow, and so forth. Now simply click on your image to place one picture tube, or drag to place a stream of picture tubes. We can use the scale slider on the tool options palette to adjust the size of the picture tube as well. We can also adjust the step level, which determines the distance in pixels between the center of each picture tube that we paint. The placement mode determines how the images are placed. Choose continuous to space the images evenly by step size, or choose random to randomly space the images, with intervals ranging from one pixel to the step size. And just like that, you can quickly add some fun embellishments to your photos. Now I'm going to teach you how to create your own custom picture tubes. First, you need to gather all the photos you want to be part of your picture tube. Try to select photos in which the object you want to turn into a picture tube stands out from the background, so it will be easy to separate and remove the background. For this example, I'm going to make a summer-themed picture tube. My first image is this watermelon. We want to remove the background so we have just the watermelon against a transparent background. You could do this in a number of ways, including using a selection tool. Or just use the background eraser tool and erase the background so just the object is remaining. Now repeat this process for all of your images. Once you have finished, we need to combine the pictures to make the picture tube. Start by creating a new PaintShop Pro image by going to File, New. In this example, we're going to set the following image dimensions. Set the width to 600 and the height to 400 pixels. Make sure that raster background is selected and enable the transparent checkbox as well. Then press OK. Now we should create a visible grid to help us place our pictures on this blank canvas. Go to View, then Grid Guide and Snap Properties. Click the Grid tab. Now under Current Image Settings, I'm going to adjust my horizontal grid to 200 pixels because the canvas is 600 pixels wide and I want three cells horizontally. And I'll change the vertical grid to 200 pixels because I want two cells vertically and our canvas height is 400 pixels. You may also want to click on the color icon to change the color of the grid lines so that they are more visible against the transparent background. Then press OK. Make sure that View Grid is enabled. And you can see we have six even cells with which to paste our pictures. So now we need to copy and paste all our images for the picture tube onto this blank canvas. Select an image using the Pick tool from the Tools toolbar. Now go to Edit, then Copy. 
and then edit Paste as New Layer onto the blank canvas. Use the Pick tool to resize the images after you've pasted them onto the canvas and place them all evenly within the six cells. In the Layers palette, right-click a layer and select Merge Visible to create one raster layer. Now click on File, Export, Picture Tube. The Picture Tube dialog box will pop up. Make sure to fill in the cell arrangement to match your grid. So I will put three cells across and two cells down. You can make any adjustments to the default placement options, but these can always be changed later in the Tool Options palette while you paint. Now name your picture tube and press OK. Let's test out our picture tube by opening up a new image and selecting the Picture Tube tool. Select the Categories box to view our presets, and you'll see that the picture tube we just created is now available for us to select. Now we can paint with our custom picture tube as we did in the first example, and make any adjustments on the Tool Options palette. The Picture Tube tool is a fun way to create picture frames and add a splash of graphic images to your design projects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.